Marissa at Excelsior Digital here. I am going to give you a quick walkthrough how to take uh, any image from canva.com and uh, download it so you can use it for your own site. So I'm on canva.com. Now I have a pro account. Uh, it's well worth the investment. Um, gives you access to a lot more photos. So um, I'm going to select custom size. Now, in my history, I've got 2,000 by 2,000 pixels. I like the higher resolution, um, large pixel images for my backgrounds, and that's what I'm going to focus on here. So I'm just going to select that. You can enter it here. I've got it already entered. Okay. So if you had not seen a lot of choices before, perhaps you were just looking at the templates. Um, so let's say, for example, I want to do kitchen remodeling. And I enter that, and I don't see a lot here. I see some pre-made stuff for, like, Instagram. Okay. The key is to select the Elements tab. Okay. Um, and all I do, so you see I've got, now I've been using this um, a lot, so I have a history. You'd say just type in your know, kitchen or contract or whatever you'd like, drag and drop. So you see I've got this guy here um, with a clear background, great for making ads or whatever you want to use it for. Okay. I hit add page, and that's all I do, drag and drop. Um, I can resize them, and by putting them in the corner like this, it'll make all you need to do after is after I download these, um, I can have up to 100 pages of images for any file that I download. It comes as a zip. And then each um, page, uh, I would just edit in um, my uh, image program. Um, I use even just paint.net, which is free. It's really easy to crop. Okay. So, um, so you just type in, do the keyword search. Um, key is to select photos, okay, and then I've got all sorts of stock images that I can work with, well beyond what you see in the um, templates, okay, um, you saw there how it's sized automatically for the um, window, which you can do, but I like to um, use the whole image and crop it. Okay, and I would just keep going like this. You can see there's no shortage of uh, stock images to use. Whatever you're searching for, it's an absolute wealth of images. Um, and I can use them all because I've got the pro account. And you can also do this for um, graphics. You can also edit these with the um, colors they've used. So if you need to, you want to do some basic backgrounds, um, you know, for your text, if you'd like to create a logo, um, this is also a wealth. Okay. And there's also videos, if you want to do a little video clip and crop it. Now, because I'm doing images, um, and I'm going to be working with PNG. I'm not going to do it. I would do a separate file for any um, video, and I would download it as um, an MP4. So I'll leave that, but you can see those are there too. All right. So then what I do, so I would just keep going. Um, I can keep adding um, images. Okay, you can just name this. So kitchen images all right and then um, if no further editing is needed I'm happy with what the images look like I'm going to hit download okay um, make sure it's on PNG um, I already have um, the image size select selected but I can of course change that and hit transparent background Okay. And it's set to all pages. You can, if you want to only do a certain amount, you could change that there. Okay. I hit download. 